save this chair for you. Do you know a long, long, long time ago, and I'm, I know you didn't know about it because you were in England at the time, we got your record and we played it on a thing that we're going to do in just a minute called the Record Review or Raider Record. And yeah. the kids loved it. gave a very high rating and then we started to play it. And, and all of a sudden, what did it sell? A couple of million records, didn't it? Mm -hmm, yeah, it sold, well, I think, yeah, two, two million here and it sold, well, it's been number one in so many different places. It's and and then, then be very candid now. Did you have any idea at all that that kind of success would happen when you made that record? No, I made it for a friend. I did a backing session, and the producer said, I've got a song that might, might be good. And I said, oh, okay. And Do I you have a record contract? I didn't have one then, no. I just, I just did it. So, uh, well, I said, give me 60 pounds, please. And I really thought that was very daring. And that translates uh, to about the, the $120, $120 yeah. roughly. <laughs> yeah. And I thought it was really being very big. Oh, that's that's wild. Do yeah. you come from a show business type background? Uh, y well, yeah, my father was a singer, cabaret singer, yeah. yeah. Did he encourage you to go into this? No. Why not? Uh, well, nobody did because he was sort of like, uh, he, he was always working, but always second rate cabaret clubs and stuff, and it was never enough for a normal family life, you know. I never was thinking of doing it. Like you know, unfortunately, our businesses, uh, Maxine, are always geared to what we call success. Mm -hmm. What for you is success? Uh, well, I think the first thing for everybody is life. I mean, make a success of life. Before anything else you do, you've got to know how to live. And this is a mistake most people make, I think. You know, they tend to go crazy when yeah. they... <laughs> now that you've had record success, has it changed your life at all? No, no, no. You're I traveling a lot? I have a daughter of three, so she gets me back to normal. When I get here with you? <laughs> yeah. She's on the beach today. And uh -huh. Well, I don't know about now. It's a bit cold, but she's gone to picnicking with friends. And how long are you going to stay in our country? Uh, till October. Would you sing another song? I'd love to. All right. The title of which is? Got to be the one. You stand up, I'll take the chairs and go. Ladies and gentlemen, Maxine Nightingale. <laughs>